First snowfall of the season today, and it may not be the only snowfall this week. Did I get that right, Ray? Yeah, we're going to get some more snow chances uh, as the week unfolds, especially uh, Wednesday night into Thursday. We're going to see some, some bands trying to set up. But this snow was actually a good one for a first snowfall, 1.6 inches officially in Pittsburgh. Up in northern Clarion County, they got more to the tune of 3 inches of snowfall, and that allowed this snowman to be built, sort of still fall with the with the pumpkin belly going on there, but uh, when it comes to it, uh, it was a good snowman making snowfall around the region. Clarion picked up three inches of snow, Derry as well, two and a half in Butler, Ford City, 2.2, Plum, two inches. The official reading for Pittsburgh at the National Weather Service office was 1.6 inches of snowfall, and only four times since the year 2000 have we seen an inch or more of snowfall this early. So uh, it was a good one around the region. That snow's moved on. Right now we're seeing some rain trying to push into the area. Just up to the north, right around I-80, we start to see some snow mixing in with this as well. So this is mainly north of Newcastle. As you get up into Franklin, Venango County, we're seeing that come down as mainly snow. And then you shift south of I-80, and this is mainly rain. And this rain will likely stick with us through much of the night and into the early part of tomorrow before transitioning over to snow. Now, where one of the exceptions would be is up in the ridges. They got a little more snow. It's been colder up there, and when you get those warm wedges of air, that could create a little freezing drizzle or freezing rain and create a couple slick spots. So we have that winter weather advisory that continues until 5 a.m. up in uh, to uh, Somerset and Garrett counties. Now, a little haze and even some low clouds here, so there might be some pockets of fog to deal with as well with some drizzle. But we have rain as our temperatures are generally above freezing at this point. That's going to be with us through the next few hours. Then we get into early tomorrow morning. Temperatures are actually going to fall a bit, and the dynamics are going to be there for some snow showers to develop uh, on and off. And you can see how small scale these are, so these aren't going to be too problematic. But once we click over into Thursday, so Thursday at midnight, you can see some of these snow showers that develop, and we could even see a snow band trying to drop down, and that would likely hit up areas around I-80, possibly down to 422, and give the better chances of snow accumulation there, but I think uh, some spots even this far south could get some dustings. Now, talking about that visibility, uh, visibility is as low as one and three quarter miles, so just know there is the element of some fog out there to go along with the uh, spotty rain, the spotty snow and the 33 degrees that we're going to see for our low tonight. That's where we stand right now. Temperatures will actually tick up a little bit through the night and set us up for a high of 39 degrees with areas of rain and snow again tomorrow. Snow showers scattered around on Thursday. We dry it up, we brighten it up, but we don't warm it up. Those temperatures drop and we're looking much colder for the weekend.